5 a.m. on April 9th, uh, the Fulsham Yeager jumped to secure the Storstrom Bridge, connecting the island of Falster with Zealand, and to take the coastal fortress of Misnado. Uh, there were only three guys in the fortress. Uh, in this scenario, the Fulsham Yeager are now taking the southern uh, end of the bridge so they can link up with the 198th Infantry Division and give them an advance to Copenhagen by land. Here is the 13 dice Falsham Jaeger Army for today's game. Uh, on the bot we'll start in the bottom left. Bottom left, uh, we have uh, Lieutenant Fabio von Fuckwitz. He's a first lieutenant. He's on his own. Next to them, we've got the uh, Air Observer. Uh, next row up, we've got an 8-man Falsham Jaeger squad with two SMGs and an LMG. And next to them, we have a 9-man uh, Falsham Jaeger squad uh, with uh, two SMGs and a, an LMG. Next row, we've got uh, an anti-tank rifle followed by a machine gun bike. Sniper, and then a five-man Falschmager infantry uh, section with uh, just rifles. And in the back row, we've got a light mortar, the MMG, the Ketten Crod Rod, Panzerbusch, and a flamethrower team. And you can just make out the uh, front end of the uh, glider, which will make an appearance in this game. Here we have the Danes, and I'm going to start from left to right at the bottom. So at the bottom, we have the MMG. It's inexperienced. Next to that, we have an officer. Uh, with a man, their first lieutenant with a guy, their regular, and just behind them you can make out a guy, maybe make him out with the guy with the bugle, that's the uh, artillery observer. Then we have the bike, which I've made regular, uh, and then we have three infantry sections. Uh, the front one there is regular, it has uh, 10 men, 120 points. Behind them, two identical, inexperienced green squads. Uh, then we have a, a light armored car. Uh, we have a medium, uh, pardon me, a medium mortar that's inexperienced with a spotter, which is kind of unique for bolt action. Then we have a light anti-tank gun, a 37 millimeter bull force, and then we have just in the back there you can make it out above the MMG. You can see the sniper squad there. So total, it comes out to about 833 points and 11 dice. Nine, 1940. It's about 5:30 in the morning. We have Falschmager coming in. Uh, from the uh, island fortress that they've just landed on with only three guys in it. They're securing the southern part of the bridge uh, here. The Danish forces are at the other end of the table here expecting the Germans to come this way but unfortunately they've got the Germans coming this way. So what we've got, we've got a whole bunch of Germans deployed here. We've got a Kenton crowd rod with a Panzerbusch uh, MMG bike uh, and that's the crew for the little gun there. Uh, we've got an officer uh, it's the uh, light mortar and some troops over there and off table. We've got a uh, glider a flamethrower team uh, machine gun and Another squad of guys the Danes have started some guys in ambush the sniper here is an ambush the uh, anti-tank gun is an ambush and uh, The machine gun is in ambush and so is the mortar and the spotters over here first thing we're gonna do here is um, the, So the Danes can start hidden and in an ambush. So everybody's hidden right now uh, and some of them are in ambush. And uh, for the Germans, because the Danes are so sleepy, they get D3 units get a free uh, run move before the game even starts. So we're going to roll that D3 now, or in a second, and we'll get back to the results and okay, see what happens. see how many happened. units we got here. D3 going. Go ahead, man. Okay, two units are going to go on. So he's going to decide which units are going to make their free run move, and then we're going to okay, get started. Okay, the Kitten Crowd Rod is um, taking his run move up the road here. Um, pulled off a little bit. It wasn't too big of a... The, the, the lawns in uh, Denmark are very well manicured, so it was an easy move for them. And this infantry unit has run up to behind the forest. So now we're going to draw dice number one of turn number one. Anytime you're ready, sir, go ahead, draw that dice. Okay, pulling the dice. What do we got? Black. It's the black. It's the Joymans. Okay, we'll see you probably at the end of turn one. Turn one is in the bag, so the uh, kitten crowd rod has dropped off the panzer bush here. Zip back to go pick up these guys, so they're just waiting uh, for the next turn. The uh, motorcycle uh, MMG came off road, parked up here on the river, and it annihilated in an amazing shot. It took out the uh, the Danish uh, auto cannon bike. So that's actually gone. That's toast. Um, the Germans have moved up. The sniper took a shot as well, but didn't hit. But uh, everybody, the the gray tide is moving forward towards the creek. Um, the anti tank rifle guy over there. Um, one guy was taken out by the armored car that zipped through the woods here and uh, took out the one guy there. The Danes themselves, some guys have moved over to the right flank. Guys are moving up behind the buildings. Um, and the mortar has taken a shot um, from behind the barn. There they are over at these guys. So they're hitting them on a five next turn. So we're going to move on to turn two. 
and see what happens. So let's start turn two. All right, turn two is. Sorry. What are you, what are you doing? Shit. I'm really sorry. What are you smashing up my shit for? All right, turn two is over, and uh, the Germans have moved up. Um, I've ranged in, or the Danes have ranged in uh, with the uh, mortar on the uh, Panzerbusch there. Um, the Ketten Krodrod has decided to drive around a little bit. It's having a nice tour. Um, over here for the Germans, they've all moved up. Um, the uh, bike MMG uh, took out one of the squad, the squad here. Uh, they, their green roll was uh, nothing changed. Um, the light mortar and the Panzerbusch both fired on the armored car and both got indirect hits. Um, luckily for me, the armored car is still here, but it's got three pins, which makes it pretty precarious. Um, as uh, if getting through an order test next turn might be a bit difficult. Um, the light mortar, though, uh, a guy was wiped out by the sniper hiding up here. The sniper took that guy out. And uh, the Danes have basically just uh, sort of hunkered down where they are, waiting for the Germans. It looks like the Germans are making a big feint on their, uh, on their left flank, and they're going to try to come over the river and get to the end of the table here. Um, we're going to go into turn three. At the beginning of turn three, we're going to have the artillery roll, which I will make right now. And we'll see if the artillery is coming in or not. The artillery marker is that bomb right there. So let's see what happens here. And no, it's a miscalculation. So we'll come back and see what happens. Okay, so here's the result. It's moving 13 inches from that bomb, basically, to the, to the right. So let's see, 13 inches. Can you measure that off, dude? See where? Well, not from there, from here, dude. I'm sorry. So, okay. Maybe and then it's right just there. on the right, the other side of the river. And then the radius, let's see what the radius is. We'll roll the radius right behind the bicycle, the motorbike here. That's cocked, of course. Do that again. Radius is nine inches. So it's how big is a, a circle is that? Oh my God. Okay, yikes. It gets the, the my armored car. And gets the, the bike, bike and just the bike and the armored just car. The bike, yeah. That's wow. Good. Okay. Well, we'll come back. Okay, see what so happens. we've uh, basically the motorbike has gotten uh, one pin and the armored car over there got another two. So we're at five, and they have two, two uh, indirect shots lined up hitting on twos this turn. So this turn is pretty precarious for the Danes. If that armored car goes down, the the horde of Bosch can just basically steamroller over this river and run off that side of the table. So let's see, we're gonna head into turn number three. All right, there it is. The glider has arrived. Mid turn right, mid -turn three. three, we've got our first assault of the game. Uh, the glider came in and uh, the flamethrower team popped out. Flamer those guys, they're toast. They were all died, they failed their, uh, their check. Uh, the other team of guys, five riflemen there, uh, they jumped out and they uh, shot at the sniper up here in the, on the second floor here. But uh, I weighed the options here and I decided I was going to move these guys out of hiding, run, run them from here to here. So we're going to do the assault. I just figured it was easier for the dice. So by these little piggies here, I need fives to kill these guys. Let's see, I've killed three guys, and now my opponent, Giovanni, is going to go. Go ahead, Gio. You need, you've got two guys that can fight back. Okay. And where are you going to roll it here? Where do you want to roll it? You roll, roll, it roll it here by the little pigs here. He's killed two guys. I've killed three. I've won. Ah. Yatta, as we say in Japanese. Hooray. And I can move two inches, so we'll consolidate and we'll finish off the turn. Okay, we've finished turn three. Um, some developments here. He's decided to move the panzer bush back because I've had so much stuff in cover here uh, on ambush and things like that. So the road's a no-go, but the Germans are breaking through on their left flank on the Danish uh, right. As you can see, everybody's coming across the river. Um, his light mortar is still there. It's down a man. This team's down a man. And here we had the, the glider came in um, and two groups popped out. The flamethrower, he came, torched the guys here, they're dead. And uh, the other small unit, they came out. 
they took uh, some shots at the snipers up there, but then uh, the regular uh, Leaves Garden guys came storming around the corner and fought them in hand to hand and took them out. They took three to two, I think, was the final score there. So we're heading into turn four, um, and we've got the, the the armored car over here with five pins. That's the biggest asset the Danes have right now. But uh, it looks like uh, the flamethrower is going to move in here. Um, and take that out or he still has way over here he has the uh, his air spotter so we're going to see what happens turn four it's kind of late now we're going to crash out and go to bed and finish this game up tomorrow morning after breakfast turn four the regular leaves garden guys here have a pin they're going to try and lose that pin using their the officer here with a plus two they're going to run around and they're going to try and kill the flamethrower guy over here. I need a 10 or less to activate. Let's see what happens. Six, they do it. Let's see what happens with the hand-to-hand. -hand. Okay, here we go. So let's make the roll. All right, so I got eight guys. I need a five here to kill this guy. Okay, he's dead three times over, and I'm going to consolidate five inches. That guy is toast. The flamer is toast. Turn four is in the bag. Um, the big development here, of course, is uh, that the Germans are coming over the creek. We've got uh, two squads, the uh, MMG team. We've got the uh, anti-tank rifle guy holding up, the, bringing up the rear. Uh, the Leutnant has also crossed the river, leading his guys through. Um, and also over here, the flamethrower was taken out by uh, the, the my squad, uh, the Danish guys here, who consolidated back behind the glider. The uh, armored car is still chilling on the back. It's got five pins, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, over here, um, the MMG team has taken a pin from the sniper over there. It was the last dice of the turn. And then over here, uh, the Danish sniper took out uh, the uh, light mortar that was over there. And the MMG is now poised to come, the MMG bike is poised to come over the bridge. And we've got uh, the spotter and the crowd rod and the uh, Panzerbusch coming over the bridge here. So we're heading into turn five. The Danes are still kind of holding, but uh, we'll see what goes on. Uh, the inexperienced uh, Danish army, see how they do in turn five. You can see me. Can you see me? What? Can you? Am I? <laughs> now you are. <laughs> All right. Turn five is in the bag. Uh, the Germans have decided that they're going to go into the pub and clear out all the barrels because they've gotten a radio message that... Uh, the uh, Panzer Division is a probably about, oh, you know, a kilometer or so heading towards them. They can see the pub further down the road, so these Danes are going to be, it's going to be the hammer and anvil. Um, the Danes have kind of fallen back. The airstrike has been called in here, and we're going to resolve that at the end here. Um, these guys are still hidden from turn one. They haven't done anything. They're just sitting there shitting their pants. Um, whoops. The machine gun took some shots down the road here, but it was sixes followed by sixes. Nothing happened. We've got the Panzer bushes deployed. The bike didn't want to go down the street, so it stayed there. It took a shot and put a pin on the cannon here. Um, the armor cars rallied for the Danes, um, and the live garden have come out, and now they put themselves in, in between the forest here, puts them within uh, striking distance of the MMG or the lone uh, anti-tank rifle guy. All the Germans are in there, the lone uh, Danish... Uh, Mortar observers on the top floor. He's probably gonna get promptly murdered next turn So we'll see what happens, but we're gonna roll right now to see what happens for the airplane. So Geo Roll your lucky dice. Okay, picked up. Okay, here we go. I know that I Should do the rituals, but okay, because when we do these it never goes well, but let's we're go. okay, going over there five Okay, here it comes. So Woo! we're gonna roll in see what kind of airplane comes in and we're gonna work it out And we'll show you what happens ah! <laughs> it didn't go well for the Germans. So the plane came in. They put zero pins on the armored car. Here's the Stuka as it came in. <laughs> Dropped its payload. It put some. It put uh, one pin on the sniper here, one pin on the machine gun, one pin on those guys there. And then uh, I went down with this thing here to have the number of hits. He rolled a one to wound. So nobody died and he gave it basically one extra pin. So it's got two pins. It's down for this turn. Um, and then these guys have got a pin each that if they want to activate they can shake so The Danes somebody's smiling on them from the big Lego factory in the sky. Here we go into turn six Okay, so this is the last dice of turn six the armored car has moved up I'll give him an oh, this should say advance wherever advances. There we go advance. He's moved up here 
I've got a shot at his lieutenant who's hiding behind the car. So minus two because of hard cover. I moved. It means three and he's a small team. So I need sixes followed by sixes on 10 MMG shots. Can you just uh, remind our audience the name? Oh, of... yes. Oh, yeah. Lieutenant Fabio von Fuckwitz. Okay. Because I hope... he's, he's always uh, in, the, in, the, in the breach, as it were. He's always forlorn hope. Here we okay. go. Sixes followed by sixes. Okay. We got four maybes. All right. Should I re-roll? You want me to re-roll these ones, or do you want me them? Okay. Uh, it's okay. It's up. I'll re-roll these ones. Let's okay. See, let's see if I can. They are not spent. Yes, we got a pin. He's not dead, but he's pinned. So there we go. That might be the end of the game. Let's see. One, two, three. It's a uh, game over. I think. Four, five, six. We go to turn seven. So let's see what happens here. Game over. I'm pretty sure game over. Game over. That's it. Turn six. The game is over. Let's count it up and see the score. Okay, so the game's over. The score here was the the Germans got uh, four dice, which gives them a point each. So they got four points. And the Danes got five dice times two gives them ten points. There were no German units in the deployment zone. So this one goes to the Danes ten to four which is uh, pretty exciting for me. Of course, there's an entire Panzer Division rolling down the road, which is going to just hammer these guys into the dirt, probably turn eight, which never happened. But, Gio, your your uh, unit of the match, or man of the match, who's your guy here? The man of the match, he's yeah. my flamethrower guy. This guy, okay. He's going to receive... Sorry about the technical difficulties, everybody. Um, he made his uh, flamethrower team the man of the match, um, as is the first time that they've actually taken anything out on any of our games. Usually they get shot or blow up. Uh, and I made the Live Garden squad, the regular squad, my uh, the, or the Danish man of the match, because uh, they took out three dice, a small Falschemeger section, the five-man one, and uh, the flamethrower team, the flamer guy, and they shot the last MMG guy. Sorry about all these problems. I'm having big problems with my iPad and anything that's remotely computer of the future has been very, very unkind to me <laughs> this past uh, week. So thanks very much for watching, everybody, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Keep those brushes moving, and uh, yeah, take it easy, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.